So guys, I've just seen this ridiculous video of some clown in America who jumped on a Tesla Cybertruck windscreen just to see what would happen. And he just kept on jumping over and over because he thought the Cybertruck windscreen was bulletproof. Pretty sure Tesla never said that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is what it costs to replace a Cybertruck windscreen. We found out now that, um, well, now that this idiot's gone and busted someone else's windscreen. These drunk morons were obviously walking around and maybe someone told them the Cybertruck's windscreen was bulletproof. Pretty sure Tesla never said it was bulletproof. Yeah, the car is. I mean, the, the stainless steel. But if you want bulletproof glass in your vehicle, it is incredibly heavy and incredibly expensive. You don't find that in any commercial grade vehicle. Anyhow, the cost to replace the windscreen is 1,900 US dollars. I'm surprised. This is the single biggest piece of automotive glass on any um, non-commercial, like non-truck vehicle. That seems relatively inexpensive for me. I mean, if you want to replace a windscreen on just an ordinary car, like a BMW or something, it's $1,000. So it's surprisingly, well, it's not cheap, but it's surprisingly affordable. Now, this guy jumps on the windscreen a number of times which I thought it was going to break. Nothing happens until he decides to butt jump on it. Now, Tesla is pretty proud of the um, the glass in the Cybertruck because it is strong. They did just take out a patent for new glass. They're going to improve the Cybertruck glass. And the Cybertruck glass is, um, it's kind of like, you, you know, your phone glass where Tesla are trying to provide a stronger glass. And it is stronger. People have done all kinds of tests on it. In comparison to automotive glass, it's definitely better. Obviously, it's not bulletproof. That's just insane. Now, we don't know exactly what's going on in this video, but we do know these guys are drunk. It looks like they don't own the Cybertruck. Um, the guy says he's jumping on the vehicle. Uh, he's gonna, he says he's going to be a bullet uh, and test if it's bulletproof by using his body. Someone tells him, um, yeah, you're not a bullet. You're a Mexican. Anyway, a few seconds in, into the video, the man goes, you told me it's bulletproof, right? His friend says, you're not a bullet, you're a Mexican. Then later, the man says, here comes the bullet. And he butt jumps after jumping with his feet. And he, you can hear there's a crack in the windscreen. Come down. No, 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 no. Oh. Now, the guy doesn't seem very bothered about cracking the windscreen, I think because he's drunk and because it's not his car. And I've done a bit of research. It looks like it's quite common in um, America, Australia, and even in Europe for people to get away with doing this stuff. If you get caught out, no, it seems like you just get a slap on the wrist. From what I've heard from numerous people in forums and stuff, this isn't considered to be a major crime. I personally think you should go to jail for a week or at the very least have to pay some sort of significant fine because just destroying someone else's property, I, I, I don't think that's acceptable. I think even if you're drunk, um, you just don't do this kind of thing. I, I, I'm really, I think this is shameful. Anyway, hopefully, thanks to the video, his friends put it on social media, and sentry mode on the Tesla Cybertruck. They can tell who this guy was and make sure the guy gets his windscreen fixed. But anyway, interesting you can see what the price is. $1,900 US to replace this very large piece of glass. Thanks for watching.